All right, chapter six, problem 23. Um, we have a 22 kilogram child on a playground merry-go-round going around at 40 revolutions per minute. What is a centripetal force she must um, exert to stay on? Well, centripetal force, all right, it's just centripetal acceler mass times centripetal acceleration. So we've got mass omega squared r. So what do we know here? We know the mass is 22 kilos. We know that the um, radius is 1.25 meters. All right. And we have omega is 40.0 revolutions per minute. All right equals, um, well, times, times. So we're gonna get this into, um, because we want the force to be in Newtons, we need to convert everything over. So this is two pi uh, radians per revolution times, uh, let's make it look a tiny tad prettier, all right, times um, minute, per second, right, per 60 seconds, per 60 seconds. All right, so 40 times 2 pi divided by 60. 60. 4.19, radi radians per second, right? Meg is 4.19 radians per second. Um, and so, Let's put it all together. The centripetal acceleration is 22 kilos times um, 1.25 meters times 4.19 radians per second squared. Okay. Equals 22 times 1.25 times 4.19 squared, 482 or 483 newtons, 483 newtons. Um, okay, 483 newtons, how, what is her, what is her weight, right? What is her weight? So her weight is 22 kilos times 9.8, so her weight is 215, 216 newtons. So in part A, right, in part A, she's having to support over half her weight in order to stay on. I don't believe it's going to happen. All right, part B. What centripetal acceleration, well, what centripetal force does she need to stay on amusement park merry-go-round that rotates at three revolu revolutions per minute if she is at eight meters from the center, right? So that's really just putting eight meters in here, three there, right? And so we'll have um, C is uh, 22 kilos till times eight meters times, all right, um, uh, 40 times two, nope, three, right? Three times. 2 times pi divided by 60, and that's all going to be in um, per second squared. Okay. So all of this right here and there is just all of this stuff squished down into one little equation just to get it over with quickly there. All right, so if we go up here, um, I'll move this a little bit. Go up here, right here. Change that to three. So that gives us 0.314, right? And so instead of 4.19, we've got 0.314. It's 2.7, right? 2.7 newtons. All right. So this is 22. Whoop, 22 kilograms times 8 meters times 0.314 per second squared equals 
and at the end of the day we get 2.7 newtons. Oh, nope, it's more than that. My bad. Stick in the 8 for the meters. 17.35, um, 17.4, 17.4 newtons. Uh, and that she should be able to do. All right, part C, compare each force to her weight. So uh, part C, what we got before was um, in A, oh, let's see, A, it was over twice her weight, and B is, uh, -da. okay, B is what percentage of her weight? B is, uh, eight percent of her weight. Okay, less than ten percent of her weight. All right, that's it for problem twenty-three.